possibly did not have the social connections, friends to hang out with, uh, things to do, um, I would believe they would have a positive place to go and to participate. They would feel more a part of the Homedale High School community. As you can see, there used to be some graffiti here. I don't know if you can really see the youth paint there. Uh, and this is one of those spots that people thought it was a good idea to meet here and do bad things. Whole school has time to get together. Our issue is that we don't have we are united and we don't have the have the heart in our school, right? Split up the teams. That way it's equal. Like seniors split up, upperclassmen split up, and then like yeah, underclassmen. And boys and girls. And also like friends. That way yeah. they have the opportunity and to meet athletic people. Yeah. All right. So what we're doing now is looking at our survey answers that people took, and we're going to log put them into our computer system here and be able to analyze information and place people along the teams they want they need to be in and just what everyone thinks about our school community. We have a spreadsheet with all of the different teams in that book, eight teams, and I put together a schedule which uh, allows each team to play three games of pool play. Eventually, um, dodgeball will switch into another sport like volleyball or something like that to get other kids interested. Uh, now it's the second week and we're putting up responsibility and dependability. habit of the heart is responsibility and dependability. And the meaning is within the community, dependability is being there for others through all times of their lives. A steady influence that makes tomorrow a welcome event. And we've also had reminders sent out to each classroom and each player so they know when they're playing. example of a student who was impacted by an intramural program and now he has a sense of belonging throughout his lunchtime and pretty much throughout school. This is his story. Okay, so Nathan, how have the intramurals changed your lunchtime activities? It's actually changed a whole lot. From the very beginning I used to just I couldn't find anything to do with my time other than working on my other studies. So I found it was really hard to find something fun and entertaining to do. It was it really changed my life for a whole whole different way. Listen, and it is making an impact, guys. I know it's frustrating when teams don't show up, but those kids come and sit and talk to me, kids that don't take part and stuff. And like they go, well, I like to play volleyball. Well, get out there. Well, I don't have my right shoes. Well, the next day they come and they got tennis shoes on, <laughs> hoping some of them show up so they go out and play. So you got got to make an effort to include those. I mean, there there are a lot of kids in there at lunchtime. 
Okay, so impacts. Uh, statistics now show that on a scale of 1 to 5, student friend base went from an average on our first survey, 3.85, to our second survey being 4.05. The overall involvement in school activities the student answered, the average was 3.07. A second survey showed about 3.21. The enjoyment of lunchtime went from 2.07 from our first survey to our second survey showing 2.54. And the opportunity to meet new friends went from our first survey that showed 72% to second survey showing 78%. While these adjustments are small, there are still improvements in our school. In our school and they will continue to get better as the team brings new ideas. Get more students involved and make lunchtime in Homedale High School a fun healthy activity that everyone can enjoy. So overall our social action project here at Homedale High School helps students strengthen their heart in their daily lives by promoting the eight habits of the heart and improving their involvement in school and their relationships with other people around them.